Welcome back, grade six, to Nelson Math, chapter six, section eight, dividing by tens and hundreds. If you have not yet seen and fully understood all the previous sections from this unit, I am strongly, strongly encouraging you to go back and to see the multiplying and dividing by tens, hundreds using a place value so that today's work makes sense to you. I'm going to be talking a lot about the place value chart and how it and how it works, but I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm going to think that you've already watched all of the other videos first. So please watch those videos first. So when I do change something in the place value chart, you know exactly why I did it and how it works. So our first question here, we want to do 60,000 divided by 20. So I could call this 60,000 divided by 20, or I could rewrite these numbers. Let's start off with the 20 here. I can call it 20. There's nothing wrong with that. That would be correct. But I am rewriting this number 20 as two tens. That's why I put the two in the tens column, because this is not a two. It's two tens. In other words, 20. Those are equivalent. Because I wrote the 20 as two tens, I want to write the 60,000 also in tens. So if I divide 60,000 by 10, I get 6,000. So this question is the same as saying, what is 6,000 divided by 20? It means the exact same thing because I've just rewritten the numbers. In other words, 6,000 tens divided by 20 tens. So how many times could I put 20 tens into 6,000 tens? Well, this question simply becomes what is 6,000 divided by 20? Well, for this, you can look at that and say six, this, let's round that again. 6,000 tens divided by two tens. So what is 6,000 divided by two? We're just cutting it in half. So 6,000 divided by two equals 3,000. So this is a very brief way of showing how we could do this by writing the equivalent numbers in the place value chart. Let's get to one that's a bit more involved. For this one, we're going to be dividing 120,000 divided by 300. So let's do this one now. I've written 120,000 here on the standard number chart. So here's my 100,000, which is represented by the one. Here's my two ten thousands or twenty thousands, which is represented by the two, and then zeros all the way through. So this number here is 120,000. However, in this column, I have rewritten my 120,000 from 100,000, 20,000 to 12 ten thousands. So I just regrouped this one. This 100,000 is 10 ten thousands. So I took those 10 ten thousands and put them here. And then I did the same thing again. I took my 12 ten thousands, multiplied them by 10, and now I have 120 one thousands. That's equivalent. And then I multiplied that by 10 again. I regrouped it and I got 1,200 hundred ones. So, or just hundreds, I could say, 1,200 hundreds. And I rewrote my 300 as three hundreds. Now the question can be rewritten as 1,200, as we resize here, 1,200 hundreds divided by three hundreds. So now this question becomes 1,200 divided by three. 
So if you use your 12 divided by 3, that's 4, and then add two zeros, the answer is 400. Once again, please go back and check. And if you go back to another unit, you can see, well, let's see if this makes sense. 400, using our fact families, 400 times 300 is like 3 times 4 is 12 with 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So here's our 12 with our 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Please recognize these patterns and check your answers. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.